Hey friends, I've turned off the fan here in the greenhouse so that you can hear me. It's really, really loud. We have a lot of wind going on today, so you'll hear, or you may hear, some rattling of the greenhouse plastic. I'm going to unplug the fan from the timer that's been running it all summer long and move it onto the temperature switch. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the fan now. I have the temperature switch set to 70 degrees, which means it should come on right away. I just modified the temperature setting for this temperature switch to about 80 degrees and the fan turned off. So everything seems to be working. Now this winter we'll only be using the temperature switch by itself. I don't have to worry about needing to turn the power off and on. Wow, really breezy. I don't need to worry about turning the power off and on because once the sun goes down, it's not going to be hot out here. In fact, we're going to have the opposite problem. We need to maintain more heat in the greenhouse once the sun goes down. Well, all that's left to do now is to permanently mount the temperature switch and the outlet. I'll be mounting them here on the upright that everything's attached to. We used this mechanical timer last summer to control our hydroponic system. It uses an electric motor inside to turn that ring with the pins to turn the outlet off and on. These mechanical timers are inexpensive and extremely reliable. About the only thing that can go wrong is you can lose power. And if you lose power, then all bets are off. Well, in this case, the start and stop times will be delayed by the length of the power outage. There are many temperature control switches available on the market. They range in price from the high teens in dollars to more than $300. Which one you use really depends on what your requirements are. But you need to make sure that the unit can handle the power draw from your fan or other cooling unit. 